buffalo wings. You'll find them in frat houses, sports bars. In fact, anywhere you'll find beer and a big screen, you'll find them. Which leads me to ask, have you ever wondered where do buffalo wings come from? Well, the answer is right here. That's right, Buffalo, New York. Go figure. This town is famous for barrel rides over Niagara Falls and the Anchor Bar. Where 40 years ago, former owner Teresa Bellissimo created the masterpiece of snacks, the original Buffalo Wing. Her invention spawned the traditional snack we've come to know and love. And today, it's celebrated accordingly at the Wing Fest, a celebration of all things Buffalo Wings. We're going there later, but first, a visit to the place where this bar food sensation began. Ivano Toscani is the current owner and head chef at the Anchor Bar. Ivano! Oh, Mark, buonasera. Buonasera. Welcome to the famous Anchor Bar. So we're here to learn all about buffalo wings. Back in 1964, Teresa Bellissimo invented this wing. Yes. So this is the place where it started. Apparently, one night back in the 60s, Teresa was struck with a culinary inspiration. She deep-fried a batch of chicken wings, tossed them in sauce, and served them to her son and his hungry friends. She came out with this platter of wings, coated with this red hot sauce. Right. She brought it to him, and he looked, and he said, Mother, where are those things? And that, my friends, was the birth of the buffalo wing. And they obviously loved them. They loved them, and they came back for more. And before you could say, I'm hungry over here, Mama Bellissimo's invention was famous. Perfect buffalo wings are tangy and spicy, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. But what really makes these things fly is the dipping sauce. Why the blue cheese? Yes. She said, well, it's cool American refreshing. people always like to dip their food in some kind of sauce. Right. So she came up with this, and the combination is perfect. All right. Uh, why the celery? She told maybe if the winds are too hot for you, you can chew on a piece of celery and you sort of uh, uh, cool off your pellets. It's cool and refreshing. Well, let's try. Ivano's got five different sauces here, from mild for babies to suicidal for the hardcore wing fanatics. Let's try the uh, hot. I'm not going to dip it because that would mitigate the hot. Absolutely right. We'll try. Okay. One little kick. That's kind of hot. A little hot. Hey, Marco. Well, is this going to change your taste? <laughs> These are my favorite. They're the spices, but they're not not—they're not crazy hot. Well, that is delicious. Milano, mille grazie. Grazie a lei. Buffalonians love their wings. In fact, across town, on this very day, the wing capital of the world is hosting a blowout fit for a king. Can you smell it? We're here at the National Buffalo Wing Festival with none other than Drew Serza. The Wing King. The Wing King in his saucy crown reigns over a vast realm. This weekend, 65,000 of his subjects will munch at tent after tent, offering wings of every variety. Meet the former Buffalo Wing Queen and enjoy crazy wing competitions. You're not just a figurehead. No, these are my servants and they're my brothers and sisters and I need to be as one with them. Well then, seems like the best way to be with the people is to dip into some of the Wingfest's 100 different kinds of wingalicious wings. There are Italian New Yorkers cooking up Cajun buffalo wings. Mmm. Cajun-y. I can taste the swamp. <laughs> In a good way. And there are cowboys from Texas selling Italian-style buffalo wings. So this is garlic That's parmesan? That's garlic parmesan. Seems to be one of the incredible features here. Incredible features. You know what? It's chickeny, it's garlicky, it's parmesan -y. Very good. What makes the Texas wings different from the buffalo wings? And why do you call them buffalo wings if you're actually from Texas? Because you have to honor buffalo for the original buffalo wing. The anchor bar started it all. Heartfelt respect, ladies and gentlemen. That is what Wingfest is all about. Well, and love. Love and respect. We had a borderline psychotic desire to go wing bobbing with complete strangers face down in a baby pool of blue cheese dressing. Two, one, go! They've got three minutes to swoosh their face through the blue cheese goo and pluck out as many buffalo wings as possible. American ingenuity at its finest. 
The prize for this barbaric event, the thrill of victory, and one extra large t-shirt. Congratulations, Matthew. Thank Tell you. us your secret. Obviously, you had two worthy competitors. You, you need to open your mouth and wipe it across the whole body Show me. until you get them. Show me. Right. Like a fish grabbing a worm. Yes. Yeah. Well, congratulations. We're really happy for you. 2008 Olympics. We'll see you there. I will hopefully be there. All right, Matt. Congratulations. <laughs> And that's it, the story of the Buffalo Wing. From its creation to its bold and brazen celebration, tonight I'll be dreaming about buffaloes zooming around on golden wings. For Taste of America, we'll see you next time. I'm Mark DiCarlo. Bye-bye.